We'll give it a minute here. Hello. I'm going to show you guys how to cut open a spaghetti squash without hacking your own arm off. So hopefully I'll show you a quick, easy, super easy tip. Just going to take a second. Hopefully you guys like this. So I was recently um, with a friend a week or two ago and she, we were talking about spaghetti squash. I don't know. I must've mentioned something that I was cooking and she said, how the heck do you cut open one of those things anyway without cutting off your own arm? We laughed about it. And okay. So this, this is a spaghetti squash for those of you that aren't familiar with it. Um, this one obviously has been cooked, so never mind the brown spots. It's not supposed to have brown spots when you buy it. Why is it that every time I'm periscoping, my dog starts barking? <laughs> Okay, so spaghetti squash is really cool. Um, I use this instead of spaghetti, and uh, tonight I'm gonna make it like an Italian style. Um, so I'm gonna put spaghetti sauce and some Italian meatballs, um, and maybe a little bit of Parmesan cheese and kind of put it back in the oven and get it all bubbly and make it taste good. So um, last time I made one, I kind of made it Mexican style. So you can really do anything you want with it, and it's a great way to, um, to use, to eat like pasta type things, but avoid the, you know, the refined and unnecessary carbohydrates that really aren't serving you. So what I did was I turned my oven on 350, I put the whole squash in there. You'll see a lot of recipes that tell you to cut the squash in half first and you don't need to. So I'm gonna point my camera down so that you guys can see what I did. And here's my cutting board, so I think you can see See that? Okay. So here's here's the whole spaghetti squash, and I just put this in the oven. Obviously, I did this this morning. I set it at 350, and I left it in there for probably a little under an hour. I might have been able to leave it in a little bit less, um, but I had it sitting on a sheet pan because sometimes they do crack open a little bit, like you can see this one did, and then it will end up leaking a mess out of your oven. So I just put it on a sheet pan, 350, left it in there for under an hour. As soon as you can, like you know, use a, a hot a towel or a, a hot pad to squeeze it. And as soon as it has a little give, you know that it's done. So you can skip those recipes that tell you to, to cut it open first and put it in a pan of water because it really does the same thing when it's once it's cut open. So once you open it, and I just, I have a really great knife, a nice hearty slicer. So once it's cooked, it slices open so easy. I mean, you can see really how easy that is to get into once it's once it's cooked but when it's not it's like trying to hack open a you know a redwood tree so once you have it open you'll see that it does have seeds you just scrape those out with a spoon so now I have a shelled spaghetti squash and you just pull the strands away I mean it's that's why they call it spaghetti squash because it literally pulls away and looks like spaghetti and then you use this in your recipe. So you just toss these strands with spaghetti sauce or even just drizzle it with some olive oil and some Parmesan cheese and some pine nuts or some pesto. It's, got, it's so versatile. But if you Google and look for, for recipes for spaghetti squash, you'll find a whole bunch. So hopefully that was helpful. And hopefully, hopefully you'll learn a little bit something about a spaghetti squash today. So thanks for tuning in. It was great having you. See you again soon. I'm tuning out. <laughs>